Welcome to Access a Trader, the number one community for those who are committed to taking control of their trading in order to achieve success, profitability, and longevity. Thank you for joining us. Here's Dan Shapiro to help you find your edge, master your process, and own your future. Hey guys, good evening everybody. Welcome to another edition of uh, the Access of Trade .com. Uh, nightly wrap-up show. Hope everybody is uh, doing well. If you are brand new to the channel, guys, uh, only thing we, we would make me uh, very, very happy. Take a second, uh, like the channel, like the you know, like the video, subscribe, all that good stuff, and I'll continue uh, to do my best to help you guys out on a day-to-day -day, uh, basis. So let's talk about the market uh, really, really quickly. Um, so. Yesterday, we talked about how we've been trapped in a four-day channel. Um, you know, you saw a lot of sideways action. You saw a lot of stocks that couldn't get going. Uh, NVIDIA just kept on being NVIDIA. The question was, <clears throat> was it going to get to uh, 1,200 by the time uh, the, the June 7th split date? Uh, was it going to come and go? Um, the question was, can we get above the channel? We talked about a very, very specific price yesterday above 455 60s and the question was can we do it this morning you woke up uh the queues were around 457 we were above this channel and the, the only un you know unanswered question for the day was well can we finally have a gap and go right can we have a, finally have a gap and go and get these stocks uh out of the channel um yeah we did that uh big big move today uh, on the NASDAQ 100, you got a 3% move, excuse me, 2% move up 300 points. And once we got above this whole channel here, pre-market, and you can see it, it was literally a staircase to heaven. There was, there was literally no down ticks. Look, look at this whole move. These are all, you know, I, I get this question all the time by new viewers of the channel. We trade six, six, six 60 minute candles throughout the day. And you can see here, the whole move up, there was not one red candle for the whole day. Incredibly impressive. Uh, as you could imagine, um, with the NASDAQ taking out all-time highs, everything woke up, right? Everything woke up. Um, Meta, we talked about. PLTR, we talked about last night in the video. NVAX, we talked about last night in the video. The only one stock that didn't participate was you-know-who. We'll get the you know get to her uh, in a second, but all in all, uh, again, incredible market. Uh, Nasdaq 100 uh, closes at all time highs. Uh, you look at the SPYs, uh, all time highs. You look at the IWM, right? Nah, not as much, but again, it's at least it's still in the range. Still needs a little bit of work uh, to get above this 207, 208 level. Uh, you look at the diamonds. Had a you know horrific move, horrific move down over the last couple of weeks, still not out of the woods. That's the one thing. Although the Dow led up, the Dow is having a, a little bit of time, a little bit of hard time here getting above supply. For the, for the diamonds to wake up, and this is another area, if you trade the diamonds, it, you know, again, not really my thing, but if you do trade the diamonds, uh, this 389.50, 390 level is a big deal because if it can get above the 20-day supply, you see this 389.45 area, guys, right? If it could get above this 20-day supply, it could def definitely start stretching up to 392 and 394. But ultimately, uh, the NASDAQ euphoric market uh, that started all the way back to uh, 2003 uh, in the end of January, we are, you know, June of 2024 and just been absolutely uh, amazing, all-time highs all over the place. And, you know, listen, if you're a bull, it's a phenomenal time. Again, let's talk about it, right? You got NVIDIA. Today was the only day of NVIDIA that I, I didn't have a chance to trade this thing. Uh, again, my game plan basically for the last you know week, week and a half was, you know, buy these things into 60-minute support, right? 60-minute channel support. This was the first day, just like the NASDAQ, it didn't give me any balances. This thing was just a, a, a gap and go, just like the NASDAQ 100. Look at this thing. It gapped up today, took out the pre-market highs, and yada, yada, yada. Here we are uh, at 1230s. They can, all those... Call buyers that came in last week for the 1175s, so the 1200s, they all got paid off. We saw uh, 1250 uh, weekly calls coming in today, a, a lot 
Uh, we saw some August 1500 calls. Yeah, it might be a little ambitious. Uh, you know, it might be a little bit ambitious, but regardless, this is one of the greatest one of the greatest bull run individual equities you'll you'll ever see in your lifetime and maybe in the next. I mean, what this stock has done, what this company has done is just absolutely, uh, absolutely amazing. Um, you know, you look at names like Meta. You know, if you've been watching this channel, you know, for the last two weeks, well, like I've been saying, it's just it's imminent. It's imminent. It's just all they need to do is get above supply. It's imminent. All it needs to do is get above supply. And you can see here. First close above the 50-day moving average. Um, this is my first trade of the day today. And this thing looks like it's 500 tomorrow, right? Doesn't it look like the next, well, at least the next couple of days. It looks like uh, it should be testing this linear regression line into this 500, uh, 501 area. We talked about last night NV and X, right? Again, all you have to do is go back to last night's video. A again, research and your preparations, everything, okay? Uh, th this is why I always encourage new traders, stay off of social media between 9.30 and 4. If you want to go after 4 o'clock, treat it like you would treat like, uh, you know, uh, you know HBO's Max. Treat it like you would, you know, use the, you know, ESPN, Netflix, just entertainment. You want to be focused on your research. You want to omit the noise. Get off of social media, right? Just get off of social media. For me, I use it as pure entertainment. There's nothing that comes out of social media that I turn around and go, wow, that's fascinating. Again, maybe it's because I'm doing this for 25 years. Maybe just because I'm doing this for 25 years. It's so easy to get distracted by nonsense. And if you put in the work and if you put in the research in the night before and you wait for your research to confirm, that that's more than half the battle, right? Ha finding it uh, is, a, is a very big deal. Finding these ideas and finding the ideas that can confirm the next day is the most important part. And obviously, guys, again, especially for new traders, there's something called an inside day. We talked about this NVAX yesterday, inside day, after a major breakout, rested yesterday on a third of the volume, and then the next day, usually, you'll have that really big confirmation uh, continuation day, and that's exactly what happened. Uh, we talked about, uh, let's see, what else did we talk about last night? We talked about uh, PLTR, right? PLTR, I talked about again, another scenario just like Meta that it needed to get above the 50 day moving average. Well, it did that, right? Did that. We saw 23 calls come in. We saw some August 27 calls come in. Again, I don't know about the whole uh, being added to the SP 500 and blah, 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 blah. But regardless of that, like I said last night, above the 50 day moving average, uh, usually good things happen. GameStop does not, is not going to go away, guys. It's not going to go away. Uh, we, yesterday, we saw. 43 weeklies. Again, we saw 40 weeklies come in today, 35 weeklies come in today. This thing is not going away. Uh, you know, if, if you're going to short this thing, wait for a backside move uh, when it loses the five day moving average. As much as we all know, or at least most of us know, that this is, you know, it's GameStop. But the point is, right now, there's a lot of money being flown into this thing. There's a lot of institutional money flow uh, coming into this thing. Guys, watch this thing for, you know, watch this thing for tomorrow. You see how it close, you see how it stopped. At this linear regression line, everybody seen that, guys? If GameStop can get back above this linear regression line, you have room all the way back up to forty dollars, which was the high from two days ago. Again, is this the greatest stock in the world? No, but when you have an institutional money flow, you have a massive short interest, and you have everybody trying to uh, short this thing in sight. You know, if it does take out this channel, it could wake up. So, you know, definitely, definitely keep an eye on that. Uh, Coinbase, you know, Bitcoin today was not. You know, was not as strong uh, as people want. Didn't make a difference. Coinbase was very, very strong. If you guys remember, uh, it broke out on uh, it broke out on the 24th, reclaiming the 50-day moving average. And all this has been doing is just one big continuation pattern. Again, it's not going to go up every single day. It's going to be whippy. It's going to go up. It's going to go down. But as long as it continues to build over the 50-day, and you can see it, right? You see this light blue line? As long as this stock stays above the 50-day moving average, you have a higher probability of a continuation move. So coin looks uh, really, really good. Um, Tesla. Let's talk about Tesla really quickly. So if you guys remember Tesla, and we'll, we'll you know what, let's start with the pivots there. So if you guys remember Tesla, I was talking about it last night and I said, it's not going to be, and this is literally coming off of last night's video. It's not going to be, the big move is not going to be below the bottom range. It's going to be below, it's gonna, the big move is going to come if it gets below the 50-day moving average. And if you look at my notes today, pre-market, and I shorted this thing through 73, 
173 is held three times, right? That's the channel we showed you yesterday. If it builds below, can flush. Here, here's how we broke it down. The first move is only to 172. That's the 50-day support. If you look at the low of the day today, right? What's the low of the day? $72, right? And that's the point. We knew there was a, a really good shot that it was going to at least hold the first time around. The big potential is if it loses the 50-day moving average, and that's exactly what we're watching for the next couple of days. Because again, if you look at Tesla, the, the Nasdaq was up 2%. This thing was up 20 cents today. Now, again, listen, is it possible this thing wakes up you know, any client? Who knows? But again, it's tested the 50-day moving average. And now the question is, does it lose it in the next couple of days. Again, we'll, we will see. We will absolutely see for that. Uh, Reddit never got, uh, Reddit never got, oh, Coinbase. I forgot, there was a pivot on Coinbase. Uh, 249 uh, needs to build. Coinbase pretty much closed at the highs, 242, uh, 243. Reddit, I was looking through the downside, never got there. Uh, obviously, stock rally like everything else. This was a big, big move. Guys, congratulations for all you guys who caught it. Uh, NBAX inside day yesterday. 1833 needs to confirm. Guys, look at NVAX. Congrats to all you guys that caught it. NVAX took out this 1833 and traded all the way up to 22 and a quarter. It's an amazing, amazing move. It really does show you a uh, big, big move exaggeration. Rest day follow through on the second day. So really, really big move uh, there as well. And Meta, right? So Meta. So Meta initially, we're waiting for that 8250. And it was sitting there all pre-market, but it put in an opening range high of 285, right? Two, uh, excuse me, 485. So that's where I got long. I got long 485. The stock exploded initially, went to uh, 492, pulled back in, uh, pulled back in through, uh, through, through the most part of the day. And the last hour, it just went absolutely nuts. And now this is the highest close in this whole formation above the 50-day moving average. Uh, you know, it looks like a magnet to this 500 or 501 level. If there's any profit taking tomorrow, uh, again, just like everything else we've been talking about, that's strong. Uh, you know, trying to buy this thing off 60 minutes support. If you don't know what 60 minutes support is, that's the whole point of the PS60 theory. It's just, it's just channels, right? Everything is a channel. Look, right? All these channels. See all these lines that people say. Why do you have so many lines? Well, that's support. Well, <laughs> all these lines of support. That's the whole point. So we're buying them off the 60 minutes support. Um, right, we're buying up the 60 minute support. So if there is weakness, try to get this thing on weakness because I do think uh, the stock will see uh, that 500, 501 level uh, in the next couple of days. Uh, PLTR, we discussed this last night. Uh, 2240 needs to confirm pre-market highs or use the first pullback. Uh, the first pullback went to 2220. It got above the 2240 and closed right at the highs at roughly around 23. It gets above 23 tomorrow. You could see another push uh, into this 24 and change level. And I believe that is it, right? I believe that is it. So let me give you guys a couple of names for tomorrow that I'm watching. Uh, Microsoft looks great. All it needs to do is confirm this channel that end of May, uh, confirm this 10 day moving average. Uh, this thing looks great. Uh, ENVX, set an alert on this thing. I don't know if it'll go tomorrow, but this thing is getting tight. Uh, definitely, definitely tight. Keep an eye on EMVX. Coinbase still looks good. Uh, you know, again, I'm going to use any dips uh, tomorrow for, um, you know, for, you know, meta, uh, for, you know, anything. Basically, if you go through charts, there's a million stocks breaking out. Again, I, I could give you, I could, I could literally put 200 stocks on the watch list today. Again, that'd be a little bit uh, overkill, a little bit counterproductive. But again, uh, preparation is the key. If you are interested in pivots, guys, and all these supply zones and all that stuff, again, there's a link in the comments. Uh, take a, you know, take a spin of the PS60 theory. Again, nobody trades this on the planet uh, but us. I created this about 12 years ago, and it's pretty cool. It's pretty, pretty cool. Guys, have a great night, everybody. God bless. Tomorrow is Thursday, so tomorrow night is my normal uh, night of rest. There is no video. Uh, just kind of decompress for the Friday session. And hopefully the rest of you guys, I will see on the field tomorrow. Have a good night, everybody.